Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lena G this time with a Dauntless video. Now in this video I'll show you how to fight Akaras and get the Agaric Spore Cap. Now I was really really confused about how I could get this because it said it came from the mushrooms of Agaras and I was like, where are the mushrooms? Are, are these the, the ones on the ground? Are there somewhere on him on his arms? But no, they're the one on his back. So you need to get on his back to get this. Now, to get on his back, you have to destroy the spores around the arena. There are some of them that will just spawn eventually. Uh, right at the beginning, there's a few, and then they spawn, and then they spawn from time to time in the arena. So you need to destroy them before they explode, or else they, if they explode, they release poison. And when you destroy them, they release a vent. You take this vent and you fall on his back, and you can then destroy the mushrooms. Now, the, yeah, you need to do this by breaking each of his mushrooms. There, I, I think there's three, and you have to, you know, if you want to get get uh, the best out of it, you need to hit the same mushroom always, so it can break. Uh, I've had times that I got one spore, one uh, um, Garrick spore cap. Sometimes I got three. That was my biggest. I think all three got destroyed because you know I had several players jumping on him. So yeah. I was a bit confused, but this is how you get, this is how you do. Now, on my first attempt to get the Agaric Spore Cap, I took a sword and I was, I was just trying to jump on his back as much as I could. And then I realized uh, there's probably a better way if I took ranged weapons. I could have taken sights, but sights don't really... Uh, I don't think it, it reaches as high or or uh, at least I, I don't know where I'm hitting with sights because I can look at it. So I took repeaters. Uh, the first time I took electric repeaters, they're pretty good because, you know, electric damage is the best against the, um, the Terra uh, uh, behemoths. But I fell a little bit short because every time I looked up and I used the, the, the lantern, I couldn't see what else was hitting me from the side. That's one bad thing about repeaters. If you look up, you know, you can't see anything around you or to left or right of you, so you get hit with multiple things and this boss does fire projectiles so the second time i took the the legendary repeaters from lady luck if you don't have them you can also buy them i wouldn't advise and you can just do trials and they take this weapon and they these were the best choice because once you level up the bomb you can just throw as many grenades as you want at his back detonate them and just explode i think it was in this one that i that i took all, all three mushrooms back so i throw i got three a Garrick Spore Cap. So if this is what you're doing, if you're playing to for get a, to get a, a Garrick Spore Cap, I do recommend you take the um, repeaters, the Twin Sun repeaters. Now, if you are just wanting to defeat the Agarus, there's a very simple way, which is you just hit the root. Um, I think that <laughs> Phoenix Labs didn't make a, a, a very knowledgeable decision when they decided to make it this enemy so stationary because with a sword rework you can t take the um, the spin and you know put ice board on it and you can pretty much just hit the wood as many times as you like uh, doing that um, vent AOE on the ground with the sword and then you can just spin the wind and do it again and do it again and if you, you have the, the pangar lantern which makes um, an area of cold that also works. You can also take the Ember Main, which makes a ball of fire that is stationary and it also works. So essentially, you, you, the enemy just stays in one place all the time. If you have a good enough support build or defense build, you can just stay in one place, hit him in all the time until, of course, he releases his branches and he flans out. Now, when he does that, he also releases the, the mushrooms that you can need to destroy to then jump on his back. So you need to make a decision. Are you attack the branches or you attack his back? Uh, now, I've been playing it with him and always with a squad because it's much easier. You know, you don't have to think about everything at the same time. You just have to think, okay, this time I'm going to fight for the spores or I'm going to fight for them to kill him as, as fast as I can. Um, he's not a difficult boss. He's a really cool boss. But, you know, I fear that he might be changed in the future. Or at least he will have some kind of buff because when he releases the spores, he starts to get his health back, but he never gets enough health because you know we just keep destroying him. I think that most uh, slayers at this point are really high level against it, so yeah, sure, some of them die, but most of us, most of us have, have, have uh, builds good enough to just destroy him. And because he doesn't, you know, he doesn't escape, he doesn't become invulnerable in any time. He does die pretty fast. There was one time we got it and we just, you know, just hammered it down. And I think he died in like, I don't know, 30 seconds, a minute and something. I didn't, I didn't really even think it got to a minute. So, 
yeah you just gotta watch out for poison damage if you don't have the granny's antidote you have to have some you have to take enough potions and have a build that gives you life with iceborne or even with a kush high lantern also as life steal to keep you know as long as you're hitting them you're still getting your life back so yeah it's not a complicated fight it's a little bit complicated to get on his back and get the agaric spore cap which i need to get to build you know every weapon that he has i'm just gonna build a sword actually but you know it's complicated to get the get explore that way but other than that it's a pretty easy fight and it's a pretty cool boss so that's what i think of it i hope you enjoyed the video if you do please like and subscribe and as always have a great game guys